the uh, the chair will contribute in the university like other chairs to research to teaching and what's very important to this university community engagement so linking the university to the community so uh, <coughs> when Professor Elbira starts with the university shortly he will work with uh, Professor Canning, the director of our Asia Pacific Center for Interreligious Dialogue, to work out a program of research, how we can contribute to teaching and then to building relations with the community. It's my great honour to welcome you to Australian Catholic University on this historic occasion for the university and the wider community. To begin proceedings by formally acknowledging Professor David de Kretzer, Governor of Victoria and Mrs de Kretzer, and thanking them for honouring us for their presence today. I'd also like to acknowledge other dignitaries, representatives and distinguished visitors of the Australian Intercultural Society, Australian Catholic University staff and friends of the university. And I especially welcome His Eminence Mehmet Ali Shangul, who is the personal representative this evening of His Excellency Fatula Gulen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the launch today of an exciting new academic development at Australian Catholic University the Fatula Gulen Chair in the Study of Islam and Muslim Catholic Relations. clearly indicated to me that you have a wide section uh, of the Australian and international community supporting this initiative. And I think that truly underlies the importance that people in this society uh, and those who travel from Turkey to be with us here at this launch, the importance that they place uh, on this uh, initiative. And my wife and I are also truly delighted to be here with you today uh, for this launch of the Fatala Gulen Chair of the Study of Islam and Muslim Catholic Relations. We, we want to thank the governor himself for his generous support and contribution to launch of tonight the Fatala Gulen, Integral Chair in the Study of Islam Catholic Muslim relations. We thank him to him as well as the Australian Catholic University senior management, as well as the Australian Intercultural Society executives, members, supporters and donors. We in Melbourne are delighted to welcome Dr. Alberac, particularly because so much of his work we expect will be located in this campus of ACU in this city. And on behalf of the Catholic community of Melbourne, under the leadership of Archbishop Dennis Hart, who is Episcopal Vicar for Interfaith Relations, I am, I offer Dr. Alberac a very warm welcome. And I offer the assurance that we look forward to the work that he will be doing locally and to the opportunities of working in conjunction with him in this important field. Bütün bir insanlık olarak istikbale yürürken her köşe başında önümüzü kesmesi muhtemel ayrılık, farklılık ve mutabakat zorluklarından kaynaklanan handikaplara karşı en sağlam sığınağımızın diyalog ve herkesin konumuna saygı olduğuna inanıyor bu istikametteki bütün gayretlerin şayanı takdir olduğunu düşünüyorum. 
Gulan shares with Nusi the conviction that interfaith dialogue and cooperation between Jews, Muslims and Christians should be key concerns of modern Muslim intellectuals. But whereas Nusi, primarily through the legacy of Rasali Noor, has inspired millions of followers who meet regularly to read his work, Gulan has inspired a broad social movement concerned with practical religious philanthropy on a grand scale. This religious philanthropy can be understood simply as revolving around three axial themes or elements, a deep desire for dialogue, a love of learning, and a passion for service. Gulan's profound interest in dialogue can be really discerned in his writing and in his personal activism. Allah!